I love the way the First Gen Lounge makes me feel. Because it creates a space where I belong. Where we're able to create community. The fact that it's a community. It's a safe place. It also gives me a place to understand different perspectives. The stories of these individuals prescribe transformational perspective. I receive encouragement, enlightenment, empowerment. And also serve as a catalyst to just keep going. Where we're able to be our true selves. I'm allowed to be an unapologetic first gen. And above all else, tell our story. And every episode is unique. I love it. I'm your host, Dr. Eve, and I'd like to welcome you to the First Gen Lounge. Hey, hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm trying not to get into trouble because, you know, that's not my song. (laughs) But if you caught it, then you caught it. And if you are new here, what's up with you? So glad to have you in the space over here in the First Gen Lounge. It's always good to have some some new, new folk around here. But listen... I am not going to be long today. I'm going to drop this little bit of something that I done figured out, this little bit of wisdom on you, and let you go on and be great. So let me tell you what had to happen, okay? So I had gotten a call to do an interview, uh, specifically to interview an editor-in-chief for a magazine for the inaugural cover story of this inaugural issue okay first 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 you know everything about first just just lights up my world so I'm thinking hell yeah and my response was something like that but I was like oh of course like absolutely like count count me in no doubt no no questions asked right whatever you need and doing this was really significant to me because at the end of the day it was like wow somebody thought enough of me has been connecting with me, has been thinking of me in such a way that they want to partner with me on something that is so significant, on something that is so game-changing and groundbreaking. Like, it's all the things. And I have, I'm just like, yes, 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 yes. But anyway, to get this call to do this thing, and again, it's an automatic yes for me. So the magazine actually drops. And once it does, I'm flipping through the pages just ah, 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 because I'm just so much excitement, the buildup, the anticipation, how everything came together. Like this thing is done so incredibly well, something I hadn't seen. And it was also hitting me when I was talking to the EIC. Okay, I was like, yo, I don't know anybody else who has a magazine. And you think about all the things that you experience in life, all the people that you meet, just all the things. And you realize like, there are really some dope people out here in the world and I get to know them like, oh my gosh. So again, just absolutely swoon. I'm excited like this is my magazine, okay? That's just how just excited I am about it because it's beautiful to see, especially when black women are creating things and making things happen and serving and and showing up and empowering others. Um, So yeah, I'm flipping through the magazine when I get it. See the interview, dope, dope, dope. Then I see the top 20 list and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's me. And then I see the first gen shop had been featured and I'm telling you, you could have bought me for a bag of pennies. I mean, I'm gonna say a big bag of pennies because you know, value, but you could have bought, you could have definitely bought me for like, just, just got me in that moment and I'm just so, taken aback but also so full and just so like oh my goodness it was just an interview that I anticipated that I expected I just wanted to see how even the conversation had gone over and again just very honored by it right but I wasn't expecting some of the other surprises and so with that I found myself thinking for several days on end and I'm you know definitely introspective and always thinking about things but the thought kept being how did I even get here how did I even get here? Who am I to be interviewing somebody for a magazine? Who am I to even be featured in a magazine? Like, how did I get here? How have things in my life come to be lately? And it made me really search what relationships have looked like in my life over the past few years. It made me think about some of the relationships that have been lost, but I'm realizing that no relationship that's ever lost is truly lost for is just making room for something else maybe even someone else right 
Um, but anytime we experience loss, just remember there's always going to be gain in, in some kind of way. And so thinking about the past year and a half, what has helped me get to where I am and where I'm going is the fact that I didn't shut myself off from making new friends. Some people will live by no new friends, but uh, not over here. All the new friends, okay? And saying that because also just realizing it's not even that I was looking to replace any of the friends that may not have the relationship that we used to or that we're just not talking at all or whatever that is, right? I wasn't even doing that. And honestly, some of the situations that I've experienced have actually left me to not even want to open myself up or to even think about establishing relationships. And especially as you get older, it seems like making friends is harder, but I'm at a point where I'm thinking, no, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think it's our willingness to be open um, to things. As we get older, and, you know, again, we talked about change recently, but even as we get older, things continue to change. You know, situations change all the time. And it's even about that adaptability and that welcoming of of what life has to offer. And sometimes are you missing out because you're not open to, again, that newness or even like new people, new relationships. So, yeah, thinking about the people that have come into my life within, again, a, a year and a half, two year window. I'm just so incredibly grateful for them because to be sincerely loved and appreciated and respected, um, the reciprocity, and also just there's something about the maturity of the relationships that I'm experiencing at this point in my life that so many of us have been through things and we've experienced things that the way we show up is different than we would have if we were five, 10, 15 years younger than what we are now, right? And you know, I ain't no old bitty, so don't even go there. <laughs> so, but just just the maturity and what boundaries are, what uh, respect looks like, right? What it looks like to share and hold space. It's a, it's, a, it's a different game, this maturity thing. When you've lived a little life, how you can show up, not even just for yourself, but for others. So all of that to get to the main things that I do want to share, but you know, I'm going to drop nuggets on you as many as I can. Cause you know, we are here trying to live our best life. No, we're living our best life. That's what we're doing. So the things are three things um, that have really stood out to me in all the reflection, making new friends as you get older is possible. And to what it is said, it's not the length of a relationship, but the depth of it. And I know with what I'm experiencing, it is hard for me to believe in a lot of cases that these people I just met in a sense, right? Like we just feel like we just met, but that also goes to show when you are connected with folks and when you allow yourself to love and be loved, that incredible, amazing things can come of that. And that the world, while there is cold in the world, there's a lot of warmth in the world as well. And with that, even as we get older, um, to be less fearful of things that present themselves to us. It's like, I think about people who may even be like afraid to date because I've been hurt so many times. And it's like, everything comes with a risk, right? But the risk of being loved is to be hurt. But if you believe in that thing, then you keep taking that risk until you find what you're looking for. So even with friends, as I've continued to evolve and as I continue to get to know people and have my own experiences and get to even know myself, even how those who I'm identifying as friends now, they are in spaces that there's an understanding that's unmatched. And because of that, the connection has just been something that's just been real and beautiful. So the point again is that making new friends as you get older is possible. Please don't let people tell you that you can't make friends because you can do anything you want to do because you know there are bodybuilders who are 75 and 80, right? Um, it's, it's about your choice and who you want to be. Um, another thing is that healing comes in many forms. You know, I talk about healing here and there and I don't think myself to be an expert. I'm still on my journey, will be on a journey for a lifetime, right? But when I think about healing and what it means, especially in like the relationship realm of things, because relationships can be an interesting thing, right? I mean, they, people are, ain't nobody made like you. And 
nobody sees the world exactly how you see it. You may share, you know, some ideas and empathize and connect, but nobody sees the world exactly like you do. And so that sometimes is what makes relationships um, in general things that can be like interesting to navigate. Because I'm not going to say difficult, just interesting, because depending on who you are, it really depends on how you navigate those relationships. But again, because healing comes in many forms for me, it has also been through these newly formed relationships that I have been able to heal, right? And not that I have been in this to like, oh, you got to heal me, heal me, help me. That's why I got my therapist. But in conjunction with the therapist and shout out to therapy, y'all know I watch therapy all day. Um, I'm going to shamelessly plug counsel for the culture because she is the absolute truth. Listen, the best therapist that I have ever had, hands down. And I've been with her for a minute too. But even thinking about when I started therapy, look, now that I'm thinking about it, I started therapy and some of the people I started meeting was about the same time or even connecting with about the same time. So all this healing happening at one time, but because of it, so many beautiful relationships are forming. But even through the relationships that I, I have now with, you know, my my new friend. Um, but that I mean they just it just is what it is. It ain't about new friends, like these these the homies. <laughs> Straight up, they just the homies. But for what it's worth, to be in a space where I can be okay with opening myself up to these relationships and not being closed off on an account of things that had happened before. And the fact that I was still willing to, you know, love and have conversations and get to know folks and it wasn't too much to ask and it's not wasting time because no time wasted when you're intentional about even getting to know yourself. And it's amazing how much I've gotten to know about myself by having this um, constant exchange with others and hearing and knowing their thought process and challenging what I think based on even things that I'm learning from them. So even having new and fresh perspectives, people who haven't always known me. So even being able to say, oh, well, you know, this is this based on, oh, you've known this from like 10 years ago of me. You're like, really, do you see me? Or are you with me now? So even that's like something that has been an unexpected thing that I've really appreciated just in the connections that I've been able to make. But the healing to even know that at this point in life that it's possible to continue to form really again strong dynamic incredible very loving relationships with people and to be able to be who I am to truly be who I am and never feel like there's judgment or there's worry or that there's even pettiness <laughs> like oh my goodness I love it I, I, I love it I love it I love it um and I say pettiness because you know age don't necessarily define maturity but hey i'm gonna digress on that too um and even but let me, let me i'm not gonna digress. let me regress regress did i make that up okay but even so when you think about just you know cadence and maturity maturity looks different for people who have been through some things because again how they handle life isn't going to be in my opinion and based off things i know now it comes from a place of again intention that i'm i'm in this space that i'm sharing this space my life with you but also how i show up is because i don't know already fi figure this thing out i already filled you out and i already know if i want to even have you around me or not and that's again one of those things that comes with with experience and time and reflection and growth and all that but okay i'm going to digress for real now and the last thing that i find myself and i found this to be the most exciting thing to have noticed and again i think coupled with therapy and just the work that i've been doing internally healing my inner child um getting to know myself at this point in my life all kinds of stuff right but i th i think exciting because it's kind of like damn i don't know if anybody ever thinks about it from this perspective but the extent to which you you love yourself and you get to know yourself is the extent to which you can actually love and get to know people around you um, and that for me was bars when I, when that came to mind, I wrote that one down to, to be for real with you. <laughs> like I was like, Ooh, stick with that because here's what I know. I love myself at this point in my life to recognize what is not healthy for me. And I know myself enough at this point in my life to know preferences and desires and needs and strengths and areas of improvement, all of that. And so because of this, when I'm thinking about, again, people that I may even just start off networking with, it just may be a quick social thing, a panel was on, like something, right? But because I have become so much more comfortable in my own skin and so much more accepting of who I am and really 
caring for again the the little girl in me who needed some attention but also nurturing the woman that I'm becoming at the same time bars today I know I felt that too <laughs> but for what it's worth because of that even when I think about navigating relationships friendships you know partnerships whatever it is with people I strive to approach with the same grace and love that I'm going to show myself because in my true thinking and again just going back to years ago when you don't love yourself or know who you are it's amazing what you will accept what you will put up with what you will allow and not even like think a whole lot about it until you find yourself in some crazy ass situation you like yo how did i how did i get here <laughs> and if you ever actually question yourself the question how did i get here really sit with that like really what decisions in my life what things have i done what do i believe about myself about the world to have even got me here um in the first place but anyway when you love yourself and you get to know who you are it really shapes how you show up in the world it really really does that's why i'm always pushing this idea of, of getting to know yourself like self-awareness and being clear on who you are and when you know who you are how you become so powerful you become so you become unstoppable when you know who you are because you know how to move you know what's important you know what you is and ain't gonna do it and it just really really matters so in that if I know I want to be loved and be treated with kindness and respect and all the things then I show up to be that person but I also recognize how I'm worthy of love and thoughtfulness and respect in all the things so then I know those are things at the baseline I mean there's other things right but at, at baseline how I love myself and what I feel about myself and what I know about myself helps me to navigate in any new relationship so I'm not fearing or worried about somebody hurting me or I'm not fearing or worrying about uh somebody walking out my life or a friendship dissolving or a partnership dissolving whatever it is why because the thing I understand and I know that is seasons to everything and there's reasons for everything and I'm okay with that rather than trying to control it and make you stay around forever and I got time for that <laughs> like you know it is what it is like if it works it works it doesn't it doesn't and even that evolving because it's it's not because I'm not deserving of love because the relationships you know don't work out because again friendships fade or whatever I'm deserving of love and I know that but things also just change and even accepting that and also realizing like it's not always because something's wrong that friendships dissolve it's just life life happens things come up and you look up and it's been three or four years and you're like dang I don't know you that much anymore or something is different and it's not that it's just bad it just happened we just drifted and so many things again so not looking at it as personal and taking everything so personal has really really been tremendous even in this journey as well and so all of these things put together just this is how you got here this is how you got here and you got here because at the end of the day you were willing to make new friends you were willing to heal go to therapy get the mental emotional support you need to show up and be your best self and not out here you know the world is against me and then it's loving myself and knowing myself knowing what I need what I appreciate who I want to be surrounded by all the things that leads us to all the things so with that in mind since I was talking about earlier like who's talking about I'm just gonna shout out black women hustle yes I am because that's who inspired today's conversation um just our exchange with the magazine that they just dropped so shout out to black women hustle big big shout out to the founder LaShawn Dreyer who is just absolutely phenomenal um I mean a, a sore who is a sister who is a friend who is a business partner a confidant she is truly a woman who I, I tell her all the time, a living legend because of how she moves about in the world. But it just intrigues me how often these subtle interactions that we have, but actually, they're really not so subtle actually because we be deep. <laughs> we get real deep. But something like a phone call to ask me to do an interview would turn into other things that would lead me to be in my thoughts for days like, wow, just, just how, did, how did I get here? And just realizing... 
it's because I was willing to be open to what life was was offering, what it was bringing. It's because I know myself enough to know that relationships matter to me and investing in, in them is important to me. And it's because I have been able to align myself and surround myself with people who share similar values and beliefs and perspectives that I do such that there is a synergy there. It is because I was able to take networking and network, but still open myself up to making new friends. So my question to you today, new friends or nah? <laughs> well, on that note, you know, that's all I got for you. Know that I love you. I'm proud of you. And most importantly, I want you to keep pressing forward. All right. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Okay. So before you go, I have one ask, just one ask. And that is before you go, head to the show notes and click the link to join the Evangeline Worldwide family. Okay. That's where you're going to get all the juice. Okay. All of it, like podcast, event information, resources, exclusive offers, everything that we're doing to empower first generation scholars and professionals across the globe. We going to have it there. So go hop on that mailing list. I promise you it's one that's worth being on. I appreciate it. And I'm going to catch you when I catch you. All right. Okay. Later. <laughs>